Hola, I am Romina from Argentina. And I am a member of the Tussock Chamber family. The Red Chamber is our sign of the finest quality. So, you can enjoy our authentic taste. ¿Todo bien? My grapes are harvested by hand and sent for one making right away. I have won medals in Moscow, Tokyo and China. Discover my fresh red fruit aromas together with meat dishes, grilled vegetables, pasta and cheese. Por favor, can I join you? <laughs> Hope that intro didn't make you have a cow. <laughs> anyway, so today we're going to be reviewing the Malbec from Two Sock Chomper. It's no vintage. It is 13% alcohol by volume. And they were kind of send it to me, but um, unfortunately, I don't think we can get it in the States because of the small taster bottle. Uh, however, if you are interested in knowing where you can get it, I definitely recommend either going to the Two Sock Chomper website or checking with your local favorite wine store and seeing if they carry it. So today, I'm going to be reviewing this wine. Um, and as I mentioned, um, it is an Argentinian Malbec, which I absolutely love. Screw top plus one. I really love them, so I'm hoping that I will actually love this one too. Um, out of the ones reviewed so far, some have been okay, some have been good. Nothing has really fallen into that very good category. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that with non-vintage wines, but who knows, maybe I'll get surprised and something will pop up. Uh, in terms of the color standpoint, your medium purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Anyway, so let's get to the nose. Whoa. There is a lot of like a brown butter note in this wine. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's actually kind of masking some of the fruit. Give me a minute here. Raspberry, a little bit of black cherry, maybe like a red currant. There's a little bit of like a, just a slight touch of like a little bit of like a dark chocolate thing going on with it. A little bit of like a, a cinnamon type thing going on. Maybe a little bit of black pepper. Anyway, so I'm getting a reasonable amount of things on the nose. Um, oh, and by the way, let me get to the, before I get to the other one. Nose intensity is medium. Uh, so now let's get to the taste. Interesting. Okay, so medium body, medium alcohol, medium plus acid, borderline, borderline medium, medium plus. It doesn't feel flat. It still feels a little spiky, so I'll give you medium plus. Um, tannins though. Tannins are medium low tannins. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a little bit more of like some of the French Malbecs I've had, unless something from Argentina. This is just a little bit softer. Yeah, I mean, in terms of intensity though, uh, I am getting a medium on intensity across the board. The thing that's getting me about this wine is that it's, it's not like my average South American Malbec. It's not like an average French Malbec. It's kind of somewhere in between. Uh, it's almost like, well, I guess, in between France and... So it's like something you'd probably find in... Um, no, I can't even say Texas because I've had some Texas Malbec and it doesn't even taste like this. It doesn't taste like California. It kind of has its own thing going on with it. Which is a little bit interesting in itself, but I mean, it's... Like I said, it's not kind of what I would expect from a Malbec in this area. Oh, and by the way, it has medium alcohol in the palate. So let's go ahead and get to the blick. In terms of balance, for... For this wine, I th I'm gonna give you a full point because the way that it's, that it's made is in balance. It just feels a little weird. In terms of my like schema of uh, uh, South American Malbec. So, but I will still give you a full point for the way that it's constructed. Uh, length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, you're medium across the board. So I'm just gonna give you half a point. In terms of complexity, I am getting a good amount of primary. I don't know if the secondary notes are just me tricking myself into smelling them and tasting them slightly. So I, I can taste them, 
but they're not very strong. So we'll go ahead and give you half a point because I do get a good amount of primary, I get some secondary, uh, but I don't get any tertiary. So no aging development, no points there. So in the end, what, what we end up getting is this two and a half point wine. I'm gonna give you good. I, I don't really think that I can give you very good because of one, the finish isn't long. Like if the finish was longer, that'd be nice. Um, I won't, but I mean, ultimately the thing that's holding this thing back of going into like a very good category it really is that intensity. I really, when I drink a, like a South American Malbec, I want it to be intense and this is kind of chill and I don't really necessarily like that about this wine, but like I said, it's kind of its own thing compared to a lot of the other Malbecs I've had. So, uh, maybe that's just the way they're going with it. But in this case, the intensity would have given you very good. I didn't get it, but, uh, Hey, good's not bad either. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine All The Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Two Sock Chomper Malbec? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine On The Dime.